Hi students, coming to the next topic in the subject operating system was process synchronization. So in, here we will see how the process are synchronized in the operating system. Now let us see. On the basis of synchronization, actually the process are categorized as two types. Process is categorized into two types. What are those? One is independent process. Independent process and the next one is cooperative process. Cooperative process. So, uh, the complete the on the basis of synchronization, the process is divided into two types: independent, cooperative. So, here the name itself is indicating that it is uh, showing that independent means there is no dependency between one and another process suppose if you are having uh, one or more process so there is no relationship between this one process and another process each process is independent whereas cooperative process means one process is depends upon the other process and there is a mutual exclusion uh, understanding between the two process that you call it as a cooperative process let me write that independent process execution of one process execution of one process does not affect the execution of others does not affect affects the execution of other that you call it as independent process now then what about the cooperative process cooperative process means the execution of one process affects the execution of other means here it is affecting here is not affecting execution of one process affects the execution of other process no other process so that is the difference between the independent and corporate to the main thing here you have to be known that it does not affect the executions and it should affect the execution. The process synchronization arises in the case of only cooperative process. Why it is arises only in the cooperative process? So if you take independent process, there is no dependency relationship between one and another process. So here uh, a synchronization problem will doesn't arises. Okay, because each process is independent. They are not sharing the uh, resources. Each process is having their own resources. Okay. So that's why there is no uh, problem here in independent process. Whereas in cooperative process, the process synchronization arises in only the cooperative process. So also because resources are shared in cooperative process. So let me take one simple example. Uh, it's a live. Uh, suppose if you are all the people or uh, suppose a community is there. So every uh, everyone was watching us one movie in the uh, community hall. Okay. So in the uh, amphitheater. So if you are watching the same movie uh, means in your homes, it is independent. Means whatever you want, you can uh, watch. But while you are uh, watching the uh, one movie along with all the people there should be a cooperation between those people because you are using the same resources so one movie i was watching everyone so there should be some uh, synchronization uh, between the each one means after this movie we will watch another movie after that we will watch another movie like that there is a cooperation should be there so the execution of one process obviously affects the execution of other because one person may interested in one movie and another person may interested in another movie he wants to see he, he don't want to see that movie so there the process synchronization problem will rise if you are watching the movies in at your home you are staying alone okay so then there is no problem for you because you are having your own resources your own tv so that is a general example I am saying that the process synchronization. So whenever there is an independent uh, processes, there is no problem in process synchronization. So the main process synchronization arises only in the case of cooperative process. Also because the resources are shared in cooperative process. Okay. So let me explain a critical section problem. Critical section problem.
so you may get doubt what is it critical section problem so i didn't explain about critical section but i'm uh, explaining about the critical section problem so what it means exactly so you understand what is an independent processor and what is a cooperative process so critical section means actually it is nothing but it is a code code segment a critical section is nothing but it is a code segment so this code segment that can be accessed by only one process at a time so only one process can execute that critical section at a time it contains shared variables which need to be synchronized to maintain consistency of data variables so the critical section is all it is nothing but it is a code variable so code segment it contains the uh, shared shared variables means everyone can use I means suppose if you take that uh, whatever i amphitheater i had explained so they that movies have to be watched everyone that is a shared variables so if suppose if you want to solve the problem of uh, process synchronization or you can say it, if you want to solve the critical section problem so i said critical section is a code segment so means it is a movie that we want to watch so this movie is using the shared variables means amphitheater we are using shared variables suppose if a group of team that p1 process is consisting of a group of team and p2 is another group of team p3 is another group of team they are come to an understanding p1 wants to see the movie a and the p2 wants to see the movie b and the p3 people wants to see the movie c so everyone will use the amphitheater that is a shared variables okay a b c this all movies has to play in only shared variable that is amphitheater so then the critical section what it does the people who wants to see the a movie first they will be freezed they will reserve the amphitheater so whenever they reserve the amphitheater that you call it as a code segment they are executing critical section is executing so whenever this critical section is executing the remaining people has to wait until the chance will come okay so next and the person will come and uh, they will watch next and the person will come they will watch okay so this is a mutual understanding between these problems so this critical section problem can be solved by using some different solutions so actually critical section is just a simple code segment so if you want to execute that uh, movie if you want to see that movie that is a a b c movie okay so if uh, all the people wants to uh, use the shared variables so there is a problem arises so that problem you call it as a critical section problem so that can be solved by using this one technique this is a shared variable it means the shared variables are uh, accessing by each processor with mutual understanding so okay first you watch and second you watch and the third you watch like that okay i hope you understand exactly what the critical section so don't be confused critical section is nothing but a code segment okay that code segment want to be executed by all the processor okay by using the shared variables so if all the processor come at a time by using the shared variables okay there is a problem arises suppose this person wants to see the movie at that time only and another person also wants to see that movie at the same time means there is some disturbance will occur okay that affects the execution of the processor that movie uh, will not be played at that date so that is a problem that is a critical section problem so i'll just write the sample code for this critical section so actually the critical section is a code segment that can be accessed by only one process at a time it contains a shared variables which need to be synchronized to maintain consistency of a data variables so do this is the entry section next critical section next exit section next remaining remainder section while while this is true then it will execute this process so here they are saying that this is an entry section and exit section so once one process suppose p1 p2 
टू पी थ्री प्रोसेस वॉन्ट्स टू यूज दिस द सेम रिसोर्सेस शेयर्ड रिसोर्सेस दे वॉन्ट्स टू यूज द शेयर्ड रिसोर्सेस सो वैन दे वॉन्ट टू यूज अ शेयर्ड रिसोर्सेस फर्स्ट द पी वन विल एंटर द एंट्री सेक्शन सो वेन एवर इट एंटर द एंट्री सेक्शन इट सैटिस्फाइज द कंडीशन इट गोज टू द क्रिटिकल सेक्शन सो सो अंटिल इट एंटर्स द एग्जिट सेक्शन नो अदर प्रोसेस विल एंटर इन टू दिस क्रिटिकल सेक्शन okay suppose p1 work is over it she, he watches the movie okay then it intimates with the exit section after exit section it will do its remaining uh, uh, remainder section means it doesn't affect the this remainder is independent so this uh, another process will continue with the remainder section so only the shared resources which are using the shared variables they can use only entry section and exit section and that program will execute in critical section and the, if the this p2 do, don't want to use the shared variables so p2 directly enter into remainder section and execute the program so each process when they want to exit they have to enter the exit section this exit sec section will intimate to other process that okay critical section is free you just enter into critical section you can use a means remove the lock entry section will makes the lock and exit section will remove the lock okay so let me write that point then you will understand entry section controls controls the entry into critical section entry section controls the entry into critical section and gets lock gets lock on required resources so whatever the resources that process is using that is a shared resources that will be locked and it will continue in the program code execution so critical section is nothing but a code 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 segment by using the shared variables it is executing in critical section so after that process work is over exit section will remove the lock removes lock on resources and other others know that its critical section is over critical section is over so whenever this lock is removed so then other process the p2 will knows okay the critical section is over so i can enter into this critical section by using the shared variables so whatever the process that using the shared variables that other process will not use that variables until it uh, exit from the critical section this is actually the critical section problem so this critical section problem can be solved okay Uh, so here i am saying p1 is entering now next p2 is entering now next p3 so how can i say uh, the those people those process will enter okay at a time they will also enter okay so then the processor will not understand which process i have to be taken so that can be solved by using this critical section problems can be solved by using some solutions so that i'll explain in the next video thank you